Hi, I'm Scott, and I've been working in my wood shop for over a week now, and it's a mess. And I'm going to show you how I turned it from this to this with Ryobi vacuums on Dad It Yourself. So the first vacuum I have today is the P713. This is an 18 volt vacuum, takes uh, all of the batteries from 1.5 amp all the way up through 9 amp hours. Uh, I normally run this with the 1.5 amp hour, it's lightweight, and I get about 15 minutes of run time with the 1.5 amp, and I get a full half hour with a 3 amp battery, which is a little bit more weight, but still small compared to the 6 and the 9. Ryobi also has the P714, which is part of their EverCharge line, and it is also 18 volt. That one retails for about $79, where this only retails for $30. So this vacuum comes with an integrated dust nozzle that you can snap right in like that or remove Here's your mouthpiece the detachable tank with an integrated filter comes out like that and then a two-stage filter right there that you can take out for easy cleaning so the next vacuum I have here is the P3240 18 volt 3 gallon project vacuum by far this is my favorite vacuum I use it all the time. It's portable, easy to use, and packs a real punch. In fact, since gut getting this, I've barely used my six gallon. It has an easy open catch basin. With a filter you can pop off, clean easily. Mine actually needs a little cleaning, but it's good. Snaps right back on, twist into place. And down we go in there. On the outside I have a storage area for a utility nozzle which I have no idea where mine is. I've seemed to have lost it somewhere. And then a nozzle here and that's one of the big problems I find about this one is these two clips do not stay on. I have tried to glue them and everything and they just fall off. So these usually sit with the rest of my vacuum attachments as well and then down here you have your exhaust and you can actually put a dust filter on there for secondary exhaust. Uh, I ran this one with a 1.5 amp and a 3 amp and I got three and a half minutes with a 1.5 amp battery and I got ten and a half minutes with a 3 amp battery so I'm sure you'll be getting extended use and results if you use the larger four six and nine amp hour batteries. Um, this thing is awesome. This hose is probably the best hose of every vacuum they make. Nice and stretchy and flexible and it's really good. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's only about, I don't know, three, three and a half feet long. So what did I do? Bought another hose. Six dollars on the Ryobi parts. Fits right on there. Now I have almost seven feet of hose for this little portable vacuum. So I can set it on the ground, use it in my car, or wherever I need to do it. I don't have to hold it the whole time. Great little addition. I'll have a link to this hose and the part number down in the description if you're interested in getting one for yourself. So now onto the big boy, the P770 six gallon, 18 volt portable vacuum. The awesome thing about this is it gives you all of the strength and durability and the performance of a regular shop vac without having to drag a cord around everywhere. This thing comes with a six foot hose, two extensions which store here on the sides, and then an area right here on the back for all your accessories. Your utility brush, a crevice tool, and then a prep place if you want to add another tool there. And it just plugs in there. It's got three wheels on it. It's awesome. The only thing that would be nice about this is if it was hybrid just in case you wanted to have a, t a cord to drag around. Uh, the other thing that I don't like about it is this hose. This hose sucks. It's hard, it's rigid, it's not very flexible, and most people just take it and throw it away. Uh, they go to Home Depot, get one of the rigid vacuum sets that goes with this. The only thing about it is it's orange. Orange doesn't go with green. I didn't like that either, so what did I do? Ugh. Got me a green hose, 15 feet online. The only problem with this one right now is because of the coronavirus delays and all that, I am unable to get the fittings 
in a timely manner for the end. So as soon as those come in, I'll be sure to put a picture of it on Instagram. This is 15 feet. It's a little bit long, but I can make it work, or maybe I can just cut it down to 10 feet. We'll have to see. So what would be a Ryobi tool video without an unboxing? Let's see what we got here. That right there is the Ryobi YG83CR car care kit. Three piece. Comes with a vacuum, an inflator, and a tire pressure gauge. Let's open it up. So while I'm opening this box up, I found this on eBay. It was $60. I looked around the internet and it actually shows up on the Home Depot page, but it's unavailable and or discontinued. They show it retailing for $40, but again, like I said, you can't find it. So happy hunting finding it for the retail price, but there are some of these out there on the internet and you can find them. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's the inflator. YG7463 tire pressure gauge. Right there, look at that, lights up. YG100A tire inflator. Uh, I'm assuming, oh, there it is right there. There it is. It's got two fittings for balls, uh, inflatable toys, and then for your tire. Let's see this hose there. Look at that. Cloth braided. assumption is when I open this that it's going to be for your cigarette lighter adapter yep there it is so there's the tire inflator 0 to 150 psi I put my money on this being the vacuum cleaner the YGV10200 uh, 12 volt and looks like it has the cord for the cigarette lighter also so it's not a chargeable tool. That looks pretty nice. Let's see if we open that up. Just like the P713 it's got the filter in it and oh look at this check this out wow flips right down you can use it as the uh, crevice tool. So there you go. There's the vacuum, the inflator, and the pressure gauge there. All 12 volt for use in your car. So I really wanted to demonstrate that car vacuum, but unfortunately it's been raining here all day since yesterday, today. So 
I didn't get a chance to do that. Hopefully if you follow me on Instagram, I'll get a chance to record a little bit of a video and put that out there. Um, I do have some footage of me using some of these vacuums and I'm going to show you that right now while I'm talking about some of other, Ryobi's other vacuum products. So they also have the P718 18 volt stick vacuum. That one retails for 229. They have the P3500K pool vacuum for $179. Now that it's warming up and my hot dub is back in use, I hope this is going to be an upcoming purchase and hope to review it as well. And if you haven't seen my video on my hot tub, here's a link to it up here in the corner. And then we have the RY40450 leaf vacuum and mulcher. Now I did a whole video on this one and I'll link it right there. Um, one of my most popular videos on YouTube and it's a great product. Take a look at it. That one um, retails for $179. It's awesome and it runs on the 40 volt line. And the final item I want to talk to about today is the P3260 sweeper vacuum from Ryobi. Um, it's not a true vacuum, but they list it in there. Uh, if you want to take a look at that as well, picture of it right there. As you can see, Ryobi continues to impress with its variety of tools for both the homeowner and the DIYer. I hope they keep bringing us more products. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.